Good morning, Hensley Homestead peeps. Me and the kids have made our way out to the garden this morning. Um, I know I missed a video a, a video day. Um, we didn't end up filming over Resurrection Sunday. I see you, I'm coming. We didn't end up filming over Resurrection Sunday and I didn't get a short video up, which was my plan for um, the weekend. Baby, I'm coming, I'm coming. So we figured we'd just take you along our, our Monday and uh, see how that goes. But I got a little garden update over here. Me and Bren and sort of Bo all planted some spring crops in the garden. Um, we direct seeded into our beds, little two by four beds. And it looks like a lot of our, I think, rutabagas and peas are starting to come up. All the rutabagas, I think, have popped up. Hi, Mama. All right, she's gonna get mad at us. It's probably all we're gonna get from her today. Hello. Say hi, Susie. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Who's hi. on your shirt? Who is it? Chase. Rock. All right. Like I said, our rutabagas have all come up. I think that's what these are. Look at them. They're so little. <laughs> little you. babies. Mm -hmm. I wish they could grow carrots. Well, maybe we'll have carrots come up. Maybe. Sometimes stuff doesn't come up. Yeah. But somewhere, I saw peas in this bed. Yeah. Here, we've got a pea coming up. Here, we've got a pea coming up. And here, here. Yeah, we've got some peas coming up. Like I said, I probably overseeded. I never think anything's gonna work. But, let's see, what do we got in this bed? I thought I saw some peas in this bed too. Yep, pea here, and you got a pea here. And I think um, the other things just need a little bit more time to germinate. I know we've got some Swiss chard in this bed and then more carrots. So we will see how well this bed does. But I know we're gonna have some some good snap peas come up. Yeah, we've got one right here too coming up. That one was barely buried. I might bury that one a little bit more. There's one. But yeah, how exciting. We've got some peas coming up. Hey, Bobo, let's not touch the beds, okay? And then, um, I want to get these four by four beds planted Hopefully throughout this week, that would be awesome. Um, lots of work to be done in here though. I don't know if I wanna save these four by fours for the lettuce that's gonna go in in two weeks. Or if I want to plant something else, I'm not sure. I'm not planting any onions this year because I'm too confused. So if you have onion tips, please let me know. I have onion seeds, but I have not started them. <clears throat> Got some giant cracks in this ground. I really hope something grows here throughout the summer. Sunflower, that's what it looks like. Look, we've got another one over here. But that's a sunflower that's gonna be really cool because they've seeded themselves. Oh, I love that. It's a dandelion. It is a dandelion. You can have it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to keep that. Sorry. What is it? A dandelion. A dandelion. I don't know if you guys can see him. Silver. No, it's not going to pick him up. <laughs> uh, we've got some strawberry plants that are... Look, here's more. That's got to be a sunflower right there. I asked her to drop that milk over to the chicken coop so I didn't have to. 
Uh, we've got some really pretty roosters right now. I'm gonna just get out. Give me just Flinging milk all over the place. But that is one of our roosters right now. He's beautiful. Look at this duck. Let's see, where's the other one? There's one. Oh, here's the other one. And then we've obviously got our big stud. But, uh, yeah, let's go get the rabbits some water. And I'll go show you my seedlings that are going to be going out. Sorry. In about two weeks. So confused. <gasps> Sissy's mad. We got milk in her sabasad. So we're going to wash it out real quick. And then I'll show you my seedlings. Are you mad? Come on, come look at seeds with me. I guess I should have probably done the rabbit's water when I did that. Ah, do it in a minute. All right, here are the seedlings that are gonna be going out in two weeks. Um, we've got some lettuce. This is the gourmet blend from Green Stock. And then we've got um aunt may lettuce from seed savers and then this is cabbage or no what is this i think this is cabbage yeah that's cabbage sorry and then we've got more cabbage broccoli looking a little sad and then we've got spinach all kinds of spinach I love spinach we got even some seedlings popping up here and some more lettuce so and then we've actually got and I'm just stepping in my back door I'm not going all the way in my babies are I can see them that's sad and then my ground cherries haven't come up but all of those tomatoes I planted with you guys and the calendula came up Imperial stock came up, some butterfly weed has come up, and then the coxcomb hasn't. I don't know, I feel like it should have, but I don't know. We'll see. So we're gonna fill up bunny water. Yeah? <laughs> oh my goodness. Got another strawberry coming up. Seems that they're liking this soil. It's a strawberry right there. Well, it will be a strawberry. It's a flower right now. The bees are really liking these too. Pansies. Yeah, see, they've already starting to make new plants. It's now about 1.07 and the babies have somehow, by the Lord's grace, all went down at the same time. So I'm going to get some dishes done and then hopefully, fingers crossed, may the Lord help me with this one too, get a pie done for my brother's birthday. He's been wanting one for a long time and I just, I, you know, three kids, I just don't think about it until I think about it. 
So I'm cleaning everything up right now. Um, I'm very much behind on all things housework, per usual. Um, our septic actually broke and completely like crapped the bed um, last week. That's why I didn't really get a video out. Um, I've been so behind on everything. And then we had Resurrection Sunday and all that stuff. So I am going to, um, I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to hopefully make a pie. And if I do make that pie, I am going to include you all. You would not believe the dishes you have when you have raw milk. Especially when your kids go through raw milk as fast as mine do. Um, our milk consumption is one of the reasons we got a milk cow in the first place. Hey guys, Ziki has joined us, so you may hear some whining. Yes, I hear some whining. But I have cleaned my surface. Bowl is clean. This is clean. We are going to um, greater. That's cold. We are going to get into this pie crust. Yeah. Yes. It calls for two and a half cups of flour. Oh my. Spoons of granulated sugar. I'm using organic cane sugar. One teaspoon. <laughs> oh my, oh my, of salt. And this is for a double pie crust. happy he's awake. I think two little turkeys woke him up. Yeah. Looks like the sun has come out today. This is probably the most lengthy part of this process other than waiting for it in the fridge. I like to chill it for about 30 minutes. That's cane. Um, I like to move the flour around the butter first, but I found that this keeps the butter from melting. So, like, instead of using your hands, you would use a pastry cutter. All right, guys, now that we've used the pastry cutter to cut in all of the grated butter, this is a pastry cutter if you don't know what it is. We are going to pour half a cup of ice cold water on it and then I'm gonna put it in my mixer, my stand mixer for just until it's incorporated. Then we're gonna put it in the fridge. guys now that we've got the pie crust together I'm going to saran wrap it and put it in the fridge At this point, the pie crust had been resting in the fridge for about 
30, 45 minutes. I'm cutting it at two because this is a double pie crust, which means it's got a top and a bottom. Rolling it out, trying to get it into somewhat of a circular shape so I don't have to cut so much. And from here, we are going to just keep folding in until we can get it into a good round-ish <laughs> circle. I'm just going to place that in my pie crust and make sure I'm not pulling at it too much because it will rip a hole in it. Lay it down and then I think I try to, yeah, <laughs> that does not work. I had to go in with scissors, I believe. Yeah. And after this, I'm just going to pour in my already prepared um, pie filling. Sorry. <laughs> that I had already done beforehand because doing both of these tasks at the same time is daunting um, and takes hours but anyways I'm going to just lattice all of these pieces of pie crust together it's worth the extra time in my opinion to make it look really pretty and that is my kids moving the camera around <laughs> But yeah, you're just going over under like a weave um, on each pie piece. I made this pie for my brother's birthday. Um, he wanted to bake it on his own time, or have my mom bake it, I should say, on his own time so he could have it to himself. <laughs> So uh, you will not see the finished product of this, but it looks fairly similar to what it looks like now. <laughs> Come here, buddy. This is all I'm going to give you because you might get the scourge. Come here. Okay, it's going to be bumming. I know I got one feet left. All right, guys. While we're All right, guys. here, All right. Ah, I know I do it every time. I literally told them I was like, I'm gonna quit doing it. I guess I'm not. Um, All right, guys. We have milked two cows. All right, guys. Hush. Now I am. What do you think, Buttercup? Tell the people, say like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate it. Say it, Cup. Yeah. <laughs> what you baby oh <laughs> you little fat thing um but we're gonna go home now or go get our kids from mom and dad's to uh and say happy birthday to my brother and then we are going to be donezo for the night um I made that pie to where my brother could have it if he wanted to bake it in the morning or tomorrow evening. So I didn't bake it yet, but um, yeah. So that's 
So we are going to get the babies, but we wanted to sign off and say good night and have a great rest of your week. Say hello, honey. Hello, Bucky. Two peas in a pod. Hi, Cub. You happy? You got your belly full. Look at it. Look at her back. <laughs> she looks like a wrinkled raisin. <laughs> <laughs>